electronic gear setting. Uh, today I'm going to check the electronic gear setting. So there are six steps to set the electronic gear. So I'm going to check the every single step. And first the the equipment specification. Uh, for some of customers, this equipment specification, this kind of terminology would be confusing. But you know, this is very simple concept. This is actually the fixed value of your equipment. Like the, if you have the ball screw, this value would be the pitch and if you have a turning table let's say that this is the turn table you will need the angle for the warm revolution so we are going to say that uh, this one has the three this one needs the 360 for warm revolution and uh, if you have the belt and pulley system you will need the diameter of pulley or the circumference of pulley uh, one thing very important is that the the pitch and uh, the angle for one revolution and the pulley diameter they are all the output because uh, they are already output I'm going to check this first because uh, mm, if you have the servo motor like this and uh, actually the, this is the shaft if it operates and uh, if it make the one revolution this should be the input and this side is output and uh, in case of uh, if you have uh, the ball screw it would be pitch that we have checked so it be six millimeters and uh, if you have turntable it would be the output for the one revolution so 360 and if you have the pulley diameter and uh, if it, uh, mm, the diameter has the value like 100 millimeters one point three point one four about three hundred fourteen millimeters. So this is also the output for the one revolution. So in the first step this value and this they are all you need to check in the first step. And actually, they are all uh, fixed value for your equipment. And uh, if you have uh, the gearbox, for example, if you have a gearbox. It would be have a speed reduce ratio. For example, if you don't have the gearbox, this value would be just one to one. And if you have the 50 to one, this is the value you need to check in this step. Or just 100 to one. Mm, this one and uh, this one. They mean it means you have the gearbox and they have a 
uh, speed reduce ratio so you need to check the this value step 2 uh, check the encoder resolution so we are going to set just uh, 19 bit encoder for all examples so let's say that you have the 19 bit with four screw 19 bit with turntable and the 19 bit with the part and pulley system so uh, this is one of a little bit confusing concept for electronic gear however this is very very important because actually the electronic gear ratio is determined by this setting uh, this terminology means the target moving distance per one pulse so uh, this value set the this value sets the scale of actual moving distance uh, for example Uh, this is the input and uh, one pulse however the output can be diff uh, be various like the this is the moving distance for one uh, one pulse however if you set uh, different I mean the actually the lower value than this value the output can be like this low value is high So, what you can set in this step is this so the distance can be different by setting the command unit in this step. So, for example, in case of ball screw, the moving distance against the one pulse is the command unit. So let's say that we would like to move the load uh, 0.001 millimeter per one pulse. So that means if you input 10 pulses, the load will move. Uh, just this is the one pulse. And uh, if you input just 10. Tempers, it will move 0 0.01 millimeter. So this is the difference. And uh, if you don't set this value, I mean, if you don't set the command unit, that means you don't use electronic gear for the system. And the distance per one pulse is like this. And so you can set the other command unit like this 0 0.01 degree per one pulse and 0 0.005 millimeters per one pulse. Uh, the value depends on your preference for the system. And uh, Next step is for target pulse per one revolution. So uh, this is not really complicating but very simple. We just calculate the values. In the previous step, we have set the command unit 
that is moving distance for one pulse, but uh, this is the target pulse for one revolution. Uh, it is based on the command unit that we have checked in previous page. Uh, so let's see the formula. It is the uh, load moving distance that is fixed for the increment over the command unit. Uh, so in case of ball screw, uh, this load moving distance is uh, 6 millimeter per revolution. And the uh, command unit is 0 0.001 millimeter per pulse. So we need to change this number to natural number with unit conversion. So load moving distance is 6,000 micrometer, micrometer per revolution and uh, command unit becomes one micrometer per pulse. So consequently the value for target pulse per one revolution is 6,000 and it actually it means 6,000 pulse per revolution is required to input required to input for one revolution. So other examples are like them. Uh, 36,000 for one revolution and uh, 6 to 800 pulses for one revolution. And the next step is to calculate the actual electronic gear. Uh, this value is this is the actually the combination of values that we have set in previous steps. Uh, it needs the encoder pulses. Mm, encoder pulse. And uh, the target pulse per one revolution. And the speed ratio. Speed reduce ratio if you have any gearbox. So in case, um, if you have a 19 bit encoder resolution, 5 to 4 to 8, 8 pulses per revolution, like this, and the 6,000 pulse per revolution. And uh, if you, but you don't have any speed reducer, so you can set this value as 1. So this this is the electronic gear ratio and uh, what if the speed reduce ratio value is not one you can set this value like this and So because as much as the uh, reduced speed, the input value is required to increase. So the reduce ratio is multiplied. So therefore, this is, in this case, gear ratio is, uh, the value is this. So with the same uh, formula, we can have a gear ratio for turning table here and uh, electronic gear ratio for belt and pulley system. Uh, the last step is uh, to set the value. So you will use the parameter 6091. The sub-index 1 is named the motor revolutions, which is 
the numerator of gear ratio and the sub index 2 is named the shaft revolutions which is the denominator of gear ratio so you just input this value this value uh, to these two parameters to this one and this one so uh, 524288 should be in sub index 1 and uh, 6000 6000 should be sub index 2 and that is the how to set the electric electronic gear and uh, this is also the same uh, the same as the ball screw case so this value should be in the sub index 1 and this value should be in sub index 2 and uh, the last case is also had the same way so Two six two one four four zero. This value should be in sub index one, and uh, six to eight should be in sub index two.